Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to use bearing flats and bearing rivets to attach them. So, first of all, this is bearing rivet. Now, bearing rivet comes in two parts. One part is the, what I call the pin, looks like a little nail, and the other part is what I call the cup. And the cup has a little lip on one end, and that's the end that you put the pin in. So easier to use them if you put them together they work they work together so if you put them together a little bit not all the way don't push it in all the way yet but you can get it started by putting it in a little bit and that'll be easier to insert it into the bearing flat um, and this is a bearing flat now bearing flat is uh, used whenever you put a shaft through a piece of metal like we have right here or like you can see in this picture right here, this other shaft that's going through. Now, um, I'm gonna go through how to fasten the bearing flat to the plate. Now notice uh, the bearing flat. It has two, it has, uh, two sides. Uh, on the top, it is smooth. Notice it's very smooth, there's nothing there. And on the other side, it has these little things that, I don't know, I like to call them feet. Okay, that stick out a little bit. Now those little things that stick out are meant to grip the metal. So that's the side that you put towards the metal. So when you attach it, make sure that the little feet are gripping into the little holes. And you can feel when they sort of lock in place. It's enough to keep it from you, uh, keep you from sliding it, but it's not enough to keep, hold it in place. If I was to take my finger off, it would fall. So I'm actually going to put this on the inside so you can see how the rivet works. So what you do is you put it in place, you take your rivet, and you put your rivet in from the opposite end. So you don't you don't put it into the bearing flat from the top. You put it in from the bottom. So you go so you go through the metal. Okay, and you need to hold the bearing flat in place with your with with one thumb or finger, and then push the the bearing rivet in, and you should hear a little snap, and that's what holds it in place. There's another one. Same idea. Put it in and snap it in place, and as you can see, hopefully, when you um, snap it in place. The, uh, the, the cup on the other side, uh, you'll notice that the end of it flowers out a little bit and that's what holds it in place, okay? And that holds it pretty securely. Now, to take it out, let's say later on you're done with it and you're ready to do a different build, you need to move it for some reason, you're gonna need a pair of pliers and we have those available for you. Um, it's pretty simple to take it out. Now, in general, you want it you want it to face you, but I'm gonna do it from the side so that you can see what I'm doing. Just grip. I apply a tiny. Whoop, I don't even need to. I don't even need to use the uh, pliers in this instance. It came right out. I put a little pressure and it came right out. But in many instances, it is not that easy. So, for instance, this one is not coming out. Okay. So, if you get a stubborn one like this and it's not coming out, what you want to do? Just apply a little pressure so the head of the pin comes out a little bit. Grab on to head of the pin of the pliers and just pull and twist and it comes right out just like that and you don't even need to completely separate the uh, the pin and the cup to use it again this is ready to use now, the only time you wouldn't be able to use a, a rivet that's um, all, all the way all the way together is that if it's pushed all the way in like this and it's flowering out the end is flowering out like that and it won't fit into the hole when you go to put it in there. If that ever happens, it's not a big deal. Just get a pair of pliers and just back it out a little bit, pull it out a little bit until it's not flowered so much. And then, then it's uh, ready to use again. Okay. All right. That's how you use bearing rivets with bearing flats.